Well, I was looking into anthologies to talk about what makes them all the same and what makes them different. I got to thinking about TV shows, and not just ones that we call anthologies, but what do we call a night of TV shows, or a day of TV shows? Really, an entire set of TV shows. And it's Thursday, you know what that means? It's time for us to have another Throwback Thursday. And we're gonna go back in time throw up that celebration because heart of the stories we tell and me rob the host is going to take us back to a quick nostalgic look and see how a story was that might be a little bit on the older side so celebrate your week almost being over as we look at disney afternoon now the 80s didn't exactly have a lack of things i could have done i could have done with something like must see tv or tgif but those were really more 90s, and with the new DuckTales series coming out, I thought now would be a great time to explore why we had Disney Afternoon and just how awesome it was. Disney pretty much owns animation and the best characters in it, so let's get into this. But first, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because I do Throwback Thursdays every Thursdays and theory videos every Sunday, plus I try to review TV shows and movies as they come up. Now, this is one that's easy for me, because I own most of them on DVD. And on top of that, I'm going to start off with the original lineup, the one that got me hooked as a kid. For years, every day after school, it was Channel 11 for me. Channel 11 for Disney Afternoon. It started with Gummy Bears, DuckTales, Tailspin, and Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Now, they added a lot more over the years, and there's a lot of things I could go with, but I decided to start off with those. Now, specifically, there's one that I'm going to cover in depth on their own, and that's the one that anyone who follows this channel should know, because I love me some superheroes. So we're going to unpack this all and talk about what each one did right and what they have in common. But I guess I don't really need this this time, do I? Gummy Bears was the outlier. It was the one that was already a Saturday morning cartoon and was just placed in here as like a placeholder. They didn't create the show. So what is Gummy Bears? Well, you see these cute little things? They're Gummy Bears. They have a type of juice that they make from these berries that allows them to bounce or hop or whatever it is. But it also makes anyone else that drinks it super strong. So the evil duke wants to take them and imprison them and take their gummy berry juice to make super strong, even though he already has super strong ogres. Okay, so what does this have to do with anthologies? Well, with the exception of that, they all have something in common. Let's take a look into the other shows, the ones that were created for Disney Afternoon. And we're going to start with the one that is being remade, DuckTales. DuckTales is the story of the world where animals are people, and there are no people. The ducks seem to be the most ruler, although there's also dogs and a few other things. The whole story is not an individual story, but just a bunch of random adventures. Scrooge McDuck was an adventurer when he was young. Now his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, have brought that adventuring spark out of him again, along with the young woman who was the daughter of the nanny, I believe who gets into trouble and have to get themselves out of it. It's just a fun little set of adventures each week. Well, each day, actually. There were five a week. Then we go to Chippendale, the little chipmunks, although they're dressed up a lot more like uh, 80s characters than they are random chipmunks. They get a few new supporting cast members in Monterey Jack and Gidget. Gadget? Hmm, gotta look that up. But either way, they go on these little rescue ranger outings where they try to help people. Now, their world is not the same as DuckTales, not by a long shot, but just take a look at what is the same. Each episode is a standalone, but each one is them going out and getting on an adventure. Now, what do these adventures entail? Well, sometimes it's trying to help people, sometimes it's trying to help other animals. A lot of the time, though, it's literally just, hey, maybe we could go to the beach. Oh, look what sort of crazy hijinks we get into at the beach. And there were some supporting cast members, although not as many as on DuckTales. In general, the show was just about fun adventure. Now, that then leads us to the final one in this original lineup, Tailspin. You'll recognize these characters from the Jungle Book, except instead of being in the jungle, these guys 
fly in a series of archipelagos using this plane, primarily Baloo's plane that later belongs to B Rebecca, and they just go on these adventures. Sometimes they're hired to transport things, sometimes they're just going somewhere, sometimes they get in trouble with the law, sometimes the law needs their help. This is what makes an anthology like. These aren't just individual stories, although they are individual stories that are completely standalone. If you really look at it, especially DuckTales, Tailspin, and Chippendale's Rescue Rangers are all following the same theme, the same concept. These little adventures that kids could get excited about and can have a little bit of adult humor. Now, later versions of Disney Afternoon brought in all sorts of other shows, things like Aladdin that did fit, but also ones that didn't so much. Goof Troop had a lot more in common with a uh, regular TV show that was a situational comedy about a family. Darkwing Duck, on the other hand, was more about superheroes. And that's the one I'll be talking about next week. But the settings weren't the same. Well, with the exception of, I, I will point out that DuckTales did spin off into Darkwing Duck and had several characters reappear from it. So that was uh, the same setting, but none of the rest of them did. And over the years, several of these shows were awesome. Gargoyles, Goof Troop, you name it. The characters were all different. Everyone told from a different point of view. They did even have different themes and different sets of symbolism. For the most part, though, in that initial run, the plot was always the same. The heroes, the main characters, the protagonists, were going to get themselves into some trouble and find a way out. And they didn't always connect, and there wasn't much crossover. But especially these first few, DuckTales, Chippendale, and Tailspin, were all about this formula that just worked. We're going to take these characters that we already own, someone's already created, and we're going to put them in a new situation. And in that new situation, we're going to have them have an adventure. Their adventure is going to be pretty much self-contained. There's a few two-parters, and DuckTales had a big crossover or two. And this formula won Disney the after-school market. Now, I'd like to point out that before this, cartoons were pretty much the Saturday morning expectation. Like I said, that's where Gummy Bears started. It was the Saturday morning cartoons, along with things like Smurfs and others. This really brought it into, hey, after school each day, you should come watch the Disney afternoon. Now, my question to you this week is, do you remember Disney Afternoon? Which one of your shows is the favorite? I'll tell you which one mine is right now, because next week's flashback, th or throwback Thursday, is going to be Dark Wing Duck. How did you not see that coming? But instead of dangerous, let's get creative. Let's like and share this video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I'd like to build a community here. I'd like you and everyone you know to come talk about stories, old and new, good and bad, as we do these throwback Thursdays and reviews as they come up of more modern shows. And every Sunday I do my theory video, a theory on storytelling about why, how, and what we tell stories. But for now, I'd like to thank you for watching this, and I hope you have a good night while we walk through the heart of the stories we tell.